Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Do you do the thing that is so popular on these platforms, which is called dick ratings? And for those of you who don't know, men will send you a picture of their penis and they will pay you to rate their penis on a scale of one to 10 and maybe give them a little bit of detailed information about what you think of their penis. And then usually, at least for me, after you do it, they follow up with, so do you think I can get into porn? Um... Do you have a job for me? Do you, do you do dick ratings and, um, and, and how are they for you? Do you, do you enjoy them? And do you ever give anybody below a seven out of 10? So I do, I do dick ratings, but I do them a little bit differently. I call them dick blurbs because I don't rate on a scale of one to 10. I, just give them like a few sentences about like what I liked about their individual penis and um, like just like two or three, just a little like, Oh, I like this and I like this and I like this. Good job. Good penis. Good penis. (laughs) You grew a good one. (laughs) So, so that's probably smart not to do the rating because we, I do the rating and, and uh, I ain't going to lie. It's probably me a couple people from my only fans on here. Uh, I generally make Evan do them. <laughs> she enjoys it. Oh my God. That is so funny. I do enjoy doing it. Like I, cause it's like, I feel like I've seen every, every penis in the penis rainbow. Like I very oh, rarely <laughs> do I, but, and then whenever I get one, it's like, super weird like a really weird dick i'm like excited i'm like i i don't have this one in my pokemon card collection like i've never (laughs) seen that one before like what a weird penis wow what a different penis you've made my day because it's not just the same penis over and over again today (laughs) so what okay can you give us some detail of what constitutes a different penis for you and like how do you say that because the thing is i feel that men are so you know, if there's one thing that women in sex work know about men is that a lot of them have serious insecurities when it comes to their penis, which, I mean, to be fair, it's the subject of much speculation and criticism amongst women as well. You know, like what's his dick like, or like, I had a small dick. So it's like, it's a, it's a very much a focus and a focus point of like masculinity. So yes, it's something that men are very concerned of about. And, you know, I feel like would feel terrible making somebody feel terrible about their penis because I know how much it means to them. I generally feel that people pay for dick ratings to feel good about their penis, right. not to feel bad about their penis, unless they're into small penis humiliation, which is a whole other thing. Oh, yeah. But for the most part, they want to hear that they have a nice penis and you would love to suck it. So um, how do you handle the different penises and and how do you blurb about those? And and what do you do if you get one and you just can't find anything good to say about it at all? Oh, but that's the thing is like I I will dig up something nice to say about any penis. Oh, wait, no, no, no. There was one penis that I, yeah, I'll have to get to him, but I, okay. So like a different penis, a different penis would constitute like a micro penis or a mm-hmm. penis that has like the, the width of my finger, but it's got a head that's like a mushroom, like really big, like it's really, really skinny, but like a really big head. Or like, um, I've seen some funky penises. I saw a penis that dog legged like this the other day. I saw a penis with like a really tiny head and like a super thick body. I mean, <laughs> you see all the different shapes and sizes of penis. And then you have your regular penis that looks like the textbook drawing of a penis. It's very average. Mm-hmm. It, there's nothing 
nothing super different about it. But even about that penis, you can find something that's different from the last penis that you just looked at and you can differentiate the two. But there was this one dick and it wasn't that he had a small dick. It wasn't that he had like a like any sort of funky shape to him. It was genuinely the biggest and longest penis I have ever beheld in my life. And it was so massive. I, it looked like it could be mistaken for my shin. And I was just like, I just messaged him back. He was like, he sent me the money over and he was like, I would like a rating. And then he sent me like 20 pictures of this fucking schlong. And I was like, did he need to take 20 pictures to get it all in? <laughs> like, did like could he not fit it in his frame? Did he have to use the panoramic? Thing. He was the like, panoramic option. he set his phone up on the other side of the room and stood all the way back so that I could see this penis. And I was like, it wasn't like the normal, like, like, or like yeah. the undershot. I mean, there's a thousand different ways to take a picture of your penis. This man set his phone up and walked back. And then he had like all sorts of different like settings. Like he had done this in a million different rooms. And I was like, does, is this like his thing? Does he take a pic, a, like a picture of his dick in every room that he walks into? Like, what is his... I want to know what makes him tick, but I just messaged him back. I was like, what the fuck are you clubbing to death with that? Like, what? <laughs> what? Where are you putting that? Do you wear shorts? Are you able to wear shorts? Is it always like that? Is it just that freakishly big whenever it's hard? Like, give me, give me the rundown on your dick. What's it like living with that thing? And he was like, oh, haha, so you like it? I was like, I'm perplexed. I'm just trying to understand how... You live day to day with that. Like, I, I, I feel like I can't tell you if I like it or not because I just, I don't understand what's going on here. And I especially don't understand what, well, why God would give any one man that kind of power. <laughs> and then he was like, well, my, my girlfriend actually broke up with me because she said it was too big. And I was like, yeah, fucking good for your girlfriend. <laughs> You know, I, it's funny because every guy wants like a huge penis, but I feel like it's a, it's a real handicap yeah. to have something that big. I actually, I had Rob Piper on my uh, podcast and he is, he's a male performer. He has a very <laughs> large penis. And, and he admitted to me that it is difficult sometimes that sometimes when he was like casually dating, I think before he got into the porn industry, he pulled that thing out and girls would be like, no, mm-mm. Like that's not going inside me. So, you know, I know that like every guy thinks that women like crave like this ginormous penis, but like we don't all enjoy being split in two no. and having our service, our cervix like, you know, yeah. punctured. Like it's actually not a wonderful thing to have an incredibly enormous no. penis. No, I've got a terribly shallow vagina. So the idea of <laughs> <laughs> anything that's just like massive like i look at some of these dildos some of these girls get and i'm like you voluntarily bought that for you oh my god like i i would be impaled on that there's just yeah i'm like five feet tall i i would just that would kill me that would kill me that would come yeah. out of my mouth <laughs> i don't want anything yeah. to do with that manscaped is here to up your body grooming game their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the perfect package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.